Hello friends! Happy Saturday? <laughs> I think? I don't know what day it is. I think it's Saturday. How's everybody doing today? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and share this. I'm gonna post my shopping link right there in the comments. I'm gonna pin it. And then I'm gonna have my husband share this to my three pages. So I have one page that's called Rhea Coleman. That's like my actual Facebook page. And then I have one like beauty page and that is called Beauty by Rhea Hope. And then I have this page, which is Rhea Hope. So make sure you're following in all of those and then make sure you are also following me over on Instagram. My name is Rhea Hope there. I'm gonna be posting a try on on my stories today there and then also here on Facebook. So make sure that you tune back in in like, I'd say like an hour um, to see that tutorial or that try on. But we're gonna do our makeup and I'll wait for a few more minutes for everyone to pop on. You guys, I don't know how I'm gonna make it with my eyebrows if they don't open these salons soon. <laughs> I'm already so nervous for my grout. It hasn't even like really started yet, but I've had acrylics for like six years. I don't even know what's under these. So hopefully they open up the salons in the next few weeks <laughs> for us all. My roots, look at that. Ah, quarantine life. Um, I don't know if you guys knew this, but uh, Unique has a bunch of like little fun accessories too under tools on my website, rayahopebeauty.com. And they have tweezers. They have this really awesome pencil sharpener. It's like $7. This will sharpen all of the, um, what was I gonna say? All of the eyeliners and the lip pencils too. We're doing good so far. Hello, Colorado. Awesome. Right there with you on the nails. I know, right? So I was going to use this really fast. The tweezers by Unique are the best, you guys. If you don't, if you don't have like a good pair of tweezers, these ones are the bomb and they're pink. So those are going to be, like I said, under more tools on my website. Just had to get like that really dark piece of hair. <laughs> All right, so we're going to do full coverage, my favorite combination, and then we're going to do kind of a matte brown eye using some of the palettes, and then we're going to do a more brown mauve lip today. So that's that's the plan, but hopefully you guys enjoy nonetheless. But let me know, let me know what you guys are up to. What are you staying busy with today? <laughs> Who's doing puzzles? <laughs> We laugh to keep us from crying, right? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna pop on my foundation. So on my face already, I have on my um, my mattifying face primer, you guys, this launches on the first and I am so stinking excited for everyone to grab it. I have been using it nonstop since I got it about five days ago in the mail. Presenters get early access to new products. So I grabbed it as soon as, as I was able to, like I said, it, um, got it like five days ago and I've been using it and loving it like so much it's so so good it's amazing because it helps to minimize the appearance of pores and it helps to um kind of contain all of your oil it's so incredible so I only did half side of my face really fast because I really wanted to show you what four drops of the liquid touch foundation looks like of course ignore the little dots there but you guys Look at that coverage. Is that not amazing? Completely hides blemishes, completely takes away redness, totally evens out the coverage. If you have yet to grab the Liquid Touch Foundation, I'm using the shade Lace today. And you always want to squeeze the topper and then you just squeeze, um, and then you shake the bottle and then you just squeeze it on top of your powder concealer brush. But you guys, isn't that such good coverage? Click the little thumbs up if you like that coverage. Is that so good? Oh my gosh, every time. I've been using the same foundation for almost four years, actually over four years now. Um, and I'm never, it never ceases to amaze me. All right, so I'm just using my powder concealer brush, like I said, to pop this all over. And I love that four drops covers my entire face. Like that is very light, super duper light coverage. And now you can go in with a little bit more if you're wanting more full coverage. If you still want to see like your freckles and kind of see like your skin tone underneath, I'd say four to five drops is like perfect. If you want super full coverage, you can add, like layer a little bit more, um, which is what I'm going to do right now. I'm just going to take a teeny tiny bit more 
on my finger. And then I'm just going to dot it around my face. I'm actually gonna grab just a little bit more. Come on. And apply with my blending bud. It's green cotton reusable face mask for local doctors. Oh, that's awesome. I have wrinkles because I'm 60, so is that good for me? Yes, you can absolutely use the Liquid Touch Foundation. I would definitely make sure that you are using the blending buds to apply it. So this is these are the blending buds. You get, a, you get two when you buy them, large and small. Um, but it's amazing for, these guys are amazing for getting really flawless, smooth coverage, especially if you have a lot of fine lines. You can also mix your Liquid Touch Foundation with your concealer for more coverage or for a thicker consistency. And you can also mix it, mix it with your BB Flawless too. So there's lots and lots of options as far as coverage goes. So just send me a selfie facing a window and I can give you a full recommendation on what products that you should be using. Um... Does the type of brush make a difference? I personally feel like it does. Um, I also do feel like it's personal preference. I know a lot of my girlfriends that like to use the Kabuki brush with the liquid foundation. I personally really love the powder concealer brush, um, but you will get different outcomes with different techniques, with different um, application with the brushes that you choose or the blending buds. So to answer your question, yes, it does really matter. Um, but if you are not like getting that amount of coverage that you're wanting, however you're applying it, there's also lots of different options. So before you throw in the towel and you're like, nope, not for me, um, try out different techniques on how to apply it. Um, thank you. Yes, the blending buds are wet. So I always wring them underneath water and then squeeze them out till no water falls from them. All right, so now I'm going in with just a little bit of my Skin Perfecting Concealer in the shade Organza, and I always pop this right underneath my eye, and this is going to bump up the coverage by so much. It completely hides my dark circles. It completely hides the darkness on my eye. It also acts kind of as an eye primer, and then you can always take the extra and apply it if you need it anywhere else. But I really, really love our concealer because it's very lightweight. Um, it's not like heavy or cakey. Uh, and it's really opaque, meaning you can't really see through it. You, Teresa, you'll want the shade Bisque in the BB Flawless. 59, I have lots of fine lines. Ooh, you have an interesting name. Tr Trita? Truda? Hope I didn't butcher that. Message me and I can give you a recommendation on what products to use. What makes my makeup just like sit on my face? So Donna, um, definitely your pre-makeup routine. I'm going to use my setting powder now. Um, your pre-makeup routine really counts when it comes to how the makeup sets on the skin and also how you're applying it. So highly recommend to make sure that you're applying it with the blending buds, that really, really matters. Um, like I said, it applies it very smooth and it kind of compacts it in a place rather than just buffing it on top of your skin. Also, how much you're exfoliating. I exfoliate my skin once a week, but you can even do it two, three times a week. I personally really love our um, exfoliating face mask. And I also have an exfoliating booster in my cleanser. So exfoliating your skin really, really counts, especially if you're trying to get your foundation not to look like it's just sitting on top um, because it's going to strip away that dead layer of skin that you don't probably even know is there. Ah, thanks, Lisa. But honestly, this makeup makes it easy. I used to not be very confident with my makeup application at all. I used to think oh, I can never apply makeup that smooth or that flawless or anything like that. And it wasn't until I got this makeup that I really felt felt like I could. Sorry, a cloud just covered the sun. Let me turn up my ring light. Love your tutorials. If if um if I love poplin color and pressed powder, the shade in liquid, you would want eyelet in the liquid. Cannot put my makeup on my eyelids. They swell. How can things look cohesive? Lisa, have you tried the uh, eye primer? The eye primer is a tint, has a tint to it. So that could work for making it look cohesive. I have no idea what the April Kudos is, to be honest. I have no idea. But I think with how like crazy this month has been for the world, I have a feeling that they're probably going to do something really cool. Okay, so now I'm gonna set my under eye. So now I'm gonna take my Mineral Touch Pressed Powder in the shade Scarlet. So this color is out of stock at the moment, um, but the shade Organza would work just as well. And I love this because it just brightens up my makeup look and takes away like the dullness. So if you've been feeling like your makeup looks really dull lately, this is a really easy and fast step to just gonna kind of give it a little bit more of a vibrant outcome. 
If you're mature at all, should you use setting powder? You can use setting powder if you have mature skin. You're just not going to use the technique I just did. So that technique is called baking. So it's like using a lot of powder. And I also popped the cap off mine. So what you would do is you would take, um, I'm sorry, not take, you would buy it. And when you do buy it, it has a mesh plating on top. I'm trying to think if I have a setting powder from a different company that has a plate. I don't know if I do. Cause I want to show you guys what the plate looks like. Let's see if this one does. No. I know I do. Oh, this one does. Okay. It has a mesh plate like this company's. Just like that. Okay. So it has, it comes like this, has a mesh plate inside. So what you're going to do with yours for fine or for mature skin, you're going to take, it does not matter what brush it is. This one's by Matt. Oh no, it's by Morphe. This is a Morphe 438 brush, but Elf makes a brush very similar to this. And I think it's like $2. So when you get yours, you're going to take the mesh plating and you're going to take a brush like this and you're going to push it into the powder. See how it has it on there, but very lightly. So you're going to grab a little bit of that powder. And now what you're going to do is you're just going to press like this. You're going to take it and you're going to press. That's going to do the exact same thing that I just did, but you're using like not even a fraction of the product that I just did. Same thing with your laugh lines. You're going to take it, push it into the mesh plating and then push like that along your laugh lines, forehead lines, wherever you have fine lines or wherever you're trying to like, um, prevent creasing or fine lines or keeping the, um, keeping your foil at bay. That is the exact same thing. So ours comes with that little mesh plate. I might, I'm gonna order another one just so I can do a tutorial showing you with the mesh plate. Cause I popped the cap off mine. <laughs> I like put a butter knife in there and knocked it off so I could put a blending bud in it. So that is the Touch Behold Translucent Setting Powder. I'd love to see your chandelier turned on. I would, but then it casts a shadow on my face, but I'll turn it, I have it on sometimes in my Instagram stories. No, that's like the regular press powder. That's how it normally comes with a little mesh plate. This brush is by Morphe. It's a 438 brush is what it's called. But e.l.f. makes one exactly like this. I mean, I have this one too. It's basically the same one. See, every company has a brush like this besides us. <laughs> um, this one's by Stilazzi. It's a 509. So an e.l.f. is the cheapest brand of of makeup brushes I know they don't last very long so keep that in your mind um, but you just want something tapered just like that if you have a lot of mature skin or fine lines like I said you just push it in your setting powder and then just tap 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 and then you can even like very lightly swipe it off if you feel like you put a lot on um, you can kind of play around with it okay so continuing now we're gonna set the rest of our face and give us some full coverage now I'm gonna take my Oh, I thought the mirror came loose. It was my ring. Um, now I'm going to take my pressed powder, and this is in the shade Taffeta on a big, giant kabuki brush. And this is by far, like, top three of my favorite products by Unique. It is so incredibly silky soft. It is not cakey. It is not heavy. It is not thick. It is not yellow undertoned. This pressed powder, the Mineral Touch one, is legit the best pressed powder I've ever tried in my entire life. It is so, so good. If you try one product from Unique, this should be it. What was the color of the liquid foundation? I use the shade Lace. Do you use a brush cleaning machine? I don't use a machine, but I recorded a tutorial on how to clean your makeup brushes. I believe I have it saved on my uh, Instagram if you go to Raya Hope. I think I have it saved on my highlight reel. Do you mind if I say what brush I use? No, not at all. Go for it. Yes, the press powder is life. Life. Uh, message me and I can give you the link to this brush. All right, so now that we are fully covered and we have everything really melted, everything looks really um, put together, now we're going to contour and highlight really fast. And you guys, I'm so excited. Guess what's back in stock? That's not what I'm about to use. But the blush, the blushes are back in stock, every color except for Sisterly. So Sweet is back in stock, which is that really, 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 really matte light blush. Um, and then my, one of my favorites. So my favorites are Sisterly, Surreal, and Supple. Those are my three must-have blush colors. Um, but the shade Supple is back in stock. I'm going to use it in a second. The color press powder that I used was the shade Taffeta. 
Oh my gosh, they're watching you. Aw, oh, thanks, Beth. Through her setting powder. Okay, cool. Just finally clean mine after two weeks. Ah, I know. I get that way too sometimes. I try to wash my makeup brushes once a week. That's like the best for your skin and the brushes. Okay, so now we're going to contour. We're going to go from the top of the ear to the corner of the mouth. And I'm just going to pop this right in the hollow. I go back and forth. And then I turn my brush. And then I'll do little swirls over it to really um, soften up the line. And then we do it on the other side. Yes, Scarlet will come back in stock. I haven't looked at what the date is on there though. How do you, how do you, how do you get to go get your morning coffee? We go on quarantine Tuesday and I don't know how I'm gonna get my coffee. So all of our coffee shops are now doing drive-through. So um, we just go through the drive-through and then we take like a Lysol wipe with us and we just wipe our coffees as soon as we get them and then we use hand sanitizer on our hands afterwards. So you just have to be, I'm not even going to get into it. <laughs> it's just better if I keep my mouth shut on that. Um, just be smart. Wash your hands. Don't sneeze on anybody. We'll be fine. Okay, so now for contouring your forehead, I'm going to use the Beachfront Bronzer in the shade Hermosa still. And I'm just going to kind of follow my, um, my hairline just like this around. And it really just warms up your complexion. And it really just makes everything look so much more bronzier, sun-kissed, and just really, it's very flattering on your complexion. I'm gonna go around the jawline. Wherever you put a contour is gonna recede. Wherever you don't put a contour, you put something highlighting is gonna pop out. So it's kind of playing around with the with shadows. Thanks, Kim. I'm using the Beachfront Bronzer and the Tapered Blusher Brush. No, I don't know April's one yet. Bombshell Beads. I, miss, I think I missed a comment. She is um, one of the companies I work with, I collaborate with, and she makes these really gorgeous handmade um, beaded bracelets with like real beads, <laughs> like real, real. It's really good. Uh, that was the shade Hermosa in the bronzer. It's my favorite color because it has very slight pink undertones to it. So it gives a very like sun-kissed glow to your skin. It's very flattering. Thanks, Teresa. Um, and then if you're shopping with bombshell beads, use my code Raya 20. All right. So now for blush, like I said, I'm so, so excited. The blush color supple is back in stock. Um, so this is supple. It is more of a peachy color blush, which I love. I think it's so gorgeous on, um, it pairs really well with your bronzer. It gives you just this really pretty natural, like flush color and it's not like pink or red. It's very, it's so pretty. So if you're not like a huge blush girl, or you're not a huge fan of like pink blush or red blush, this is gonna be your jam. It's back in stock, like I just said, and it has a very slight sheen to it. It's not a shimmer, it's not a glitter. Um, there's no like <laughs> shimmer fallout or anything like that. It's very, very subtle on your skin, but it simply just gives your cheeks and your skin tone just this really pretty like sheen almost. So that is supple, that is on. Isn't that so pretty? Oh, I love it. It's one of my absolute favorite colors. Supple is the color. Oh, the oh, hey, Megan. Okay, uh, yes, supple is the color. All right, so now I'm going to use my liner shader brush really fast. I'm going to comb through my eyelashes and my eyebrows, and I always do this step before I apply my mascara, and it really does make a difference how gorgeous your mascara goes on. All right, before I do that, I'm going to use my cream to powder and I'm using the shade Lustrious today in the highlight. So this is the Touch of the Mode Luminizer in the shade Lustrious, the cream to powder form. And this is the best if you have mature skin because it won't settle in your fine lines because of that cream based. Um, but it's really, really pretty. See how it just gives you that really gorgeous kind of dewy finish. And then what I like to do is I like to take the same product, the Touch of Mode Luminizer in the shade Lustrious, and then I like to go right on top of that. I pop it on the bridge and tip of my nose and then the highest parts of my cheekbones. And this gives a very pretty, um, like a bronzy finish to your makeup. And like I said, it also gives you that really pretty, see that, that highlight, the, the like a bronzy glow. It's very, very pretty. All right, so that was the shade Lustrious again. 
Yes, I will do a full product list in the comments after I get off here. So make sure that you comment something, a hi, hello, an emoji, something. So that way um, you'll be alerted when I get off. It'll be like, Rhea commented on her live video. So that's when you know to check back in because that, that's me like commenting the full product list. Hello, what brush is best? Um, I love our fan brush. And then I also love just any fluffy brush. This one's by Stilazzi. It's a 510 brush. Yes, as soon as I get off, I post the link. What color is the blush? The shade Supple. Yes, exactly. And if you guys haven't done so yet, I would so, 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 so appreciate it if you click that share button in your bottom left-hand corner. If you're a part of any groups, especially beauty groups, fashion groups, dog groups, I don't care what kind of group it is. If you could share this tutorial in there, I would so be appreciative. And then what you could also do too, to make sure that you don't miss out on any future tutorials, in the top right hand corner, you're gonna see three little dots. If you click those three little dots, it'll ask you if you wanna turn on live notifications, you're gonna say yes. And that way Facebook will alert you, it'll just send you a little notification when I'm live. So that's always helpful so you don't miss out. Yes, I will give you the full product list after I get off Carol and everything I'm using is available at my website, reahopebeauty.com. So if you go to reahopebeauty.com, you're going to click shop now and then you'll click the three lines at the top left hand corner and that's the product menu list and you can click there and it's um, the whole website is categorized like where you would put it like the brow pencil that I'm using is going to be under brows under face you put it on your face you put it on your brows you put your lipstick on your lips it's going to be on your lips etc but if you have any trouble navigating the website i am here to help you guys you guys can always message me if you need any help or if you need recommendations anything under the sun i'm your girl watch on your video oh nice um what do you use to cover mature dark under eyes um, so Cindy, I would definitely use the liquid touch mixed with the BB flawless because it's going to be hydrating and it's going to be full coverage. And then of course I would use the concealer. Um, and then for, to heal your dark circles, message me and I can give you the regimen that I used that completely healed mine. I used to have to use really intense, bright, dark, or, um, color correctors that I have on my hair. But I don't um, I used to use this color corrector and I would put it on and I would have to blend over it. It was a lot more work, <laughs> but it hid my dark circles and it wasn't until I started using unique skincare that I really didn't need to use it. So message me and I can give you the link or I can give you a regimen. You're amazing. So great. Thank you so much, Whitney. Where'd you get your index ring? Um, I'll link this on my Instagram story. So make sure you follow me on Instagram. My name there is Rhea Hope. And then to make the Instagram stories play, you'll just click on the profile picture on my Instagram and they'll start to play. Yes, exactly. The skincare and the regimen that I'm on and that I have been on for the last few years completely healed my dark circles. If we were in Velour Foundation, what color would be my summer color? Probably the shade Taffeta, Jolene. Awesome. Hi, Mariah. Maria, sorry. Uh, when I first started watching you, I always used color characters. Yes, I know. Me too. I mean, it was a good way to hide your dark circles, but ugh, it's so much more work. <laughs> so nice not to have to use those. Can you show us a picture of your makeup table? I actually have um, a whole um, video on my makeup room my beauty room on my Instagram. If you go to my Instagram, Rhea Hope, and then you click on the little highlight reels, it'll say new house. Click there and you can actually see the whole renovation of our house. When we first moved in, this place was a dump, <laughs> to be honest. It was super 70s. It was super outdated. It had like the weirdest struck or like, um, help me out here, plan, floor plan. Thank you. Um, yeah, it was really weird. So if you want to see the full thing, you can check that out. And I also have like finished stuff on there too. I tried doing my upper lash like you did and keep getting the eyeliner on my eyelid. Need to practice. Yes. So I kind of like set it and then I'll just kind of blink and go like back and forth like that. If I'm scarlet with stick color, what I use in the contour for the foundation stick. Is that what you're talking about, Amy? You'd be the shade sunset in the bronzer. Yeah, I'm so excited, Angie. Concrete. Skincare routine is lighting my dress rolls. I don't look tired. 
I'm all excited. Oh, I'm glad your skincare is working. All right, so now for our eyes, we're going to do a very simple eye look. So I took all of my addiction palettes and I popped them out of their case and I put them all together. This is the refillable palette by Unique. It's under refillable palettes and this is the 25 one. It comes with a little mirror, which is cool. Um, but I have them all together, one through five, which is convenient. Um, so I'm going to take my fluffy crease brush and I'm going to start here with this color. This is the, like the caramel brown color in Addiction Palette 4. And I'm going to grab it on my fluffy crease brush. And I'm going to dust this in the crease and the brow bone of my eye. And this is going to act as our transition shade. So I just want this color to be like popping outward of what I'm about to do. Almost missed you. Yay! Hi, Catherine. Yes, foundation stick. So you for contour... Um, you could use the shade chenille. It might be a little bit dark. I'd go one shade down from chenille for your contour color, Amy. Uh, is the pencil waterproof? Because mine smudge and run all the time. They are water resistant. And Martha, I would definitely make sure that you are setting your skin before you apply your makeup because that really helps. So the setting spray and the primer, I like rub on my eyes um, before I do my makeup and I feel like that really helps keep it in place. And then setting your makeup when you're done too. Really helps. Got my Cora 3, yay! Hi Janelle, welcome. When you do pop on, go ahead and let me know you're here and then make sure you click the share button in your bottom left hand corner. Helps me out so much. All right, so now I'm going to go in with this color right here at, from Addiction Palette 1. It's the shade Chipper. It's just a chocolate brown, and I'm going to tap my fluffy crease brush in there, and then I'm just going to start applying this all over my lid. I'm telling you, this eye look is going to be so simple. <laughs> just the two colors and one brush. I'm not sure if the fluffy crease brush is back in stock yet, but if it is, Definitely snag it. It's such a good brush. All right, so one thing to keep in mind when you're doing your eyeshadow, and this really um, allows you to do it much easier, is where and how you're holding your brush. So as you saw when I was doing my crease color, I had my brush held like this, and I was having like my fingers upward like these ones these two I guess and I was just kind of going back and forth like this now that I'm doing my lid color and I'm doing a darker color where where and how is my hand so keep note of that my hand is choked up on the brush I look like I'm holding it much firmer and I'm moving in smaller strokes and now that's all for a purpose so when you're doing your crease color and you're holding your brush towards the back with a lighter hand, you're actually having more control of the brush. So it's applying it exactly where you want it, but it also is applying it much softer. And then when you have your fingers and your hand choked up on the brush, so you're choked up meaning like you're really close, and you're holding it a little more firmer, that's going to apply the eyeshadow much darker. And when you are doing this, I suggest moving in smaller hand motions. That way, when you are blending it on, you're not having a bunch of fallout, meaning you're not going to go like this because it, the harder you push, the faster the eyeshadow is going to come off the brush. So if you're like this and you're going like this, you're going to get all this eyeshadow all over your face. So smaller strokes and choked up. I'm going to just wipe off. The leftover and I'm gonna go back in with the addiction palette for caramel brown color and I'm just gonna again now look where my hand is it's towards the back and I'm barely grazing my my face with this using super light hand motions all right so now I'm gonna take the crease brush by unique and I'm gonna take this silver shimmer color from addiction palette 2 and I'm gonna tap it in there and I'm gonna push this on the inner corner of my eye. And it's just gonna kind of brighten up the eye look and give it a little, little something extra, a little zhuzh. All right, so last thing is I'm gonna take my liner shader brush. This is one of my favorite brushes because you have two sides and you're gonna take the liner side and we're just gonna take the Addiction Palette 4, which is this darker color. I'm gonna just kind of rub it in there and then I'm just going to drag this underneath my lower lash line. This is just going to give it more of that cohesive finished look. 
Now I know I kind of jumped around with the eyeshadow palettes, but it's, I know a lot of you guys have more than one. So that's how you can kind of utilize one, two, and four. <laughs> um, but if you don't have them, they are actually being retired. So sad. So as soon as they're sold out, they're gone. So if you have yet to grab them, I highly recommend. They're amazing. They're super pigmented without being like obnoxious. So you have to blend them out all the way. And they come in so many fun colors. So if you're not sure what palette to get, just message me and I can give you a recommendation for your eye color or um, your preference on like what you like to do, what you like to wear. So I can give you that recommendation, but they are actually on sale in the kudos, K-U-D-O-S on my website, rayahopebeauty.com. And then if you click kudos, you get your choice of eyeshadow palette, you get your choice of mascara, and you get your choice of eyeliner. So you get those three things, plus you can always upgrade and get the eye primer for free. Um, is there a face cream that helps with saggy neck? Yes, yeah, so the Eulogy Night Cream is amazing. It's a toning cream. And then you can get the firming boosters in it as well, which is really, really good. And you can apply it on your neck, your decollete when you go to bed. That's what I do every night. Yeah, palette five is so good. I did palette two and five. Ooh, that'd be pretty. Yeah, there are, are a couple sold out already. They're going really quickly. So if you have yet to grab them, make sure you do so ASAP. All right, I'm gonna set my makeup and then I'm gonna do the rest. All right, so that was the Touch Behold setting spray, and this is my favorite setting spray in the world. Completely holds everything into place, takes away that makeup -y look, that powdery look, and just really seals everything up so you're not going to have a bunch of transfer, and you can go more hog wild. You can, like, really go to town on your face to really set it really good. Um, so if you experience any transferring or if you... Uh, think that your makeup is looking really like cakey or makeupy, that setting spray will really, really help. Um, this is the refillable palette. This is by Unique. You can find it under refillable palettes. And this is this uh, 25 one. So I just popped them all out and I put them all in so it fits one through five. Putting eyeliner in your bottom lateral one makes your eyes look smaller. It's all personal preference. You don't necessarily have to do that. Um, I like to do it because I don't like to wear mascara on my bottom lash line. So for me, it's kind of like it almost acts as mascara for underneath. But you're not wrong. Um, if you were to not put anything underneath, your eyes would look bigger and your makeup look would look much more fresh, much more bright. Since we did kind of a brown eye, I think that underlining it with a darker color and with the eyeliner was really nice but you can also use the eyeliner in the shade pristine which is a white and you could use that on your waterline to open up your eyes as well so now we're going to use the 4d mascara so what i just put on right then was the lash primer which is really really amazing it helps your lashes um curl it helps them grow by hydrating them and it also gives you even more length and volume. So I'm going to just go right over top of that with my 4D. And this 4D mascara is the best mascara in the world. It is so good. It gives you the longest, most luscious lashes ever. Say that three times fast. Yes. So if I was doing more of a fresh like makeup look, if I was doing something a little bit lighter on my eyes, I would have probably used the Pristine Eyeliner which is the white, and then I wouldn't put any eyeshadow underneath. So just depends on what makeup look you're doing or what your goal is, but it's all personal preference. What do you suggest for someone who wears glasses to make their eyeshadow pop? So I would go a little bit higher up with your eyeshadow, and then I would use like champagne colors. So I would use um, metallic colors, kind of like the ones that come in Addiction Palette 5, because you're already, you want it to really pop. So I would go like more intense than you probably are comfortable with <laughs> so i would use more metallic colors like the addiction palette fives um and the metallic shades that are in the other palettes because it really just draws your eye into the look so that would be my tip and then you can also use the setting powder on the little i forget what they're called but the the pieces of your glasses that sit on your nose do those even have a name if they do i don't know what it is but <laughs> You can actually rub your setting powder, this guy, on those before putting on your glasses, and it will help it to kind of not stick to your foundation. 
I'm using 40 people ask if they're false eyelashes. Isn't that the best compliment? You were like, no, they're not all mine. All right, so for end of my lashes, I'm gonna use the Waterproof Epic Mascara. I love this mascara. I love that it makes my lashes waterproof and I really love the applicator on it. I feel like it combs through the eyelashes really nicely. So I love topping my 4D with this. Okay, so once my lashes are done, now I'm gonna do this lip look. I'm gonna use the lip liner in the shade Pouty. I'm gonna sharpen it with my pencil sharpener. My lashes on my right eye curl up because I didn't sleep. Left eye lash straight would you suggest. I would, you could do a lash, a lash curler. I would also really highly recommend the, um, the lash primer. And you could just go a little heavier on whichever eye needs it. I don't spin it for me. I just kind of like blink onto it. It's all for application. It's all personal preference. However you like to do it, that's the, and however it works for you. I'm just one person. This is how I like to do it. So it's all just a tip, an idea. Do you ever feel like one eye looks better? Always, Sydney. I have a Gucci eye and a Walmart eye. <laughs> Same with my eyebrows. I feel like one arches really nicely and one doesn't. <laughs> but, you know, not at all. Okay, so now for lips, like I said, we're going to do the lip liner in Pouty, which I love. Love, love, love this lip liner. I love that it's smudge proof. I love the creamy that they glide right on. And I really like this color because it's very nude. It's not pastel nude it's kind of kind of like a brown nude and it makes overdrawing really easy too it also is really good at holding your lipstick into place so if you experience your lipstick smudging or bleeding into your skin definitely make sure you're doing the lip liner first oh thanks candy Gucci eye, Walmart eye. It's true. Okay, so now for a lipstick, we're going to use the liquid lipstick in the shade Stellar. And this is like a brown, like a brown nude. I love this color. It's so good. And then I take it all the way up and over the lip liner. Just like that. Okay, I'm gonna use my finger and just blend that into the lip liner. Okay. And we're done. Isn't that a good color? Love it. How long your lip color lasts? So my tip for your lips, a tip for the lip, is try not to eat or drink anything for like five to 10 minutes and let the color really saturate into your lips. That's really gonna help the color last longer. And then also the lip liner. You can even fill in your whole lip underneath and that'll kind of help to hold on to the liquid lipstick as well. So that can be another uh, trick. But if I don't eat like a greasy cheeseburger or pizza pizza or something really oily, my lips will last like this for probably like six to eight hours with eating and drinking. As long as you weren't eating something super duper greasy which is really good without having to touch it up. So um, if you're looking for like a long wearing lipstick, the liquid lip liners, or the liquid lipsticks are amazing and they're matte. So they go, they're like matte like this, but they're not like peely and they're not like, you know what I mean? It's like when a liquid lipstick dries, it just becomes like you just want to peel it all off. You know what I mean? I hate that and these are not like that. They say super creamy like this. So even if you have super dry lips, these are going to hydrate them. So love, love, love it. Thank you so much. So if you guys need any questions answered or if you need any help um, or if you need a recommendation or if you need help picking out products or anything at all, just send me a message here on Facebook and I would be thrilled to help you. Yes, crusty lips, not at all. So these are the best. Um, so like I said, everything is available on my website right here, rayahopebeauty.com. If you guys need any recommendations, just message me. Um, yes, I will be doing another tutorial on her um, when all this craziness is done, I have little kids and she's over 60. So actually she's not, she's 57, 55. 
So we'll um, do mom's makeup when it's a little bit safer for her. <laughs> Again, just be smart. Wash your hands. Don't sneeze on anyone. It will be fine. Cover your cough. All right, guys, I will see you guys um, here probably like in 10 minutes. I'm going to do a try on with Jane and Kate Boutique. Um, she sent me some really, really cute pieces. So stick around here and I will see you guys soon um, to do that try on here on Facebook. And yes, the liquid lipstick is in the shade Stellar. Did I not say that? I'm sorry. Yes, Stellar. Um, so I'll see you guys soon and I will see you on Instagram as well for the rest of the day. Make sure you follow me there. My name is Raya Hope and I'll see you guys soon.